Hi there, Andrew here from Caravan HQ and welcome to another beautiful winter's day in Queensland. I'm fortunate enough to show you today our new on the move adventure 6.9 metre family caravan. Special features of this amazing caravan. Let's start at the very front, the core of the caravan, the chassis. 550 grade steel, hot dip, galvanised, powder coated chassis. Bolted and riveted together. Strength personified. As you can see here, we've even pressed out the sides. It saves us kilograms upon kilograms of additional weight we don't need to have, but does not reduce any of the strength of this caravan. On the front here, we have our tried and tested DO35 hitch. Now this goes on between the car and the caravan, takes all the tension when you're driving. So this is a universal joint which relieves all that pressure. Handbrake, which is standard on all good caravans. Storage, you say? Amazing toolbox on the front. Across the top here, we can store bikes, we can store generators, fossicing gear, anything you like. Along the front here, we have multiple toolbox points, ropes, jerry can holders, whatever you like to go in here. And on the side, our own built-in stone guard. So we don't have to worry about fitting one, retrofitting or anything like that. Additional storage, a slide out, jerry can holder, generator slide, fridge slide, all standard of the caravan. Then through the top here of the whole level for your tarps, your fishing rods, all those gear which is needed for your travels. More standard features of this amazing caravan, continuing on from the toolbox, are the built-in scrub bars to the chassis. For those days where we take the puppy away and we don't want him coming inside, a great little external shower to spray him down. Or those kids who can't go inside just yet. Obviously we have our full tunnel boot, more storage options through there. Walk along, you'll see two boxes. These are for the two 100 amp hour lithium batteries. Great for continuous 12 volt power inside the caravan, runs a 12 volt fridge, and can be used with the inverter to run the air conditioner at night. Moving along, under this body we have four different tanks. Two of them are 50 litre freshwater tanks, a 100 litre freshwater tank, which gives us 200 litres for showering, and a 100 litre of grey. And talking of showering, we have an instant heat, continuous hot water system standard on the caravan. Continue on, also on this caravan, we have a wishbone double airbag suspension. By double, I mean each tyre has two bellows, not just one, with two straight shock absorbers. With the wishbone suspension, you'll notice we sit quite high, giving us an amazing road clearance when we're travelling. We can reduce this by over 150 mil of load level once we stop for the night and drop the caravan down on the wishbone suspension. Further to the caravan, we have two spare rear mounted tyres in their own little cage. Above there is a reversing camera, and we even put a wing on there to help us with fuel economy and also keeps dust off the back of the caravan on those dirty roads. Coming around, we've got a full length awning. Now you'll notice something just here on the bunk windows. Our bunks are placed on the awning side of the caravan. So the shade from the awning is attributed to the children's bunk area. So they're not on the opposite side of the caravan, away from where we sit outside. So if they do go to sleep early, our little fellas go to sleep, we know where they are close by and we can hear them and they can hear us just in case. Moving along, not one but two picnic tables. So you can put your electrical items through into the PowerPoint here. Have your toaster, have your kettle, even a TV if you really want to watch that football outside. Coming around here, I just want to talk about the structure, integrity of this caravan that we're standing next to. This is what I call a timberless caravan in the structure. By that I mean the floor is a 40 mil honeycomb floor. So if you're worrying about water crossings, you've got honeycomb floor, water ingress is no longer a concern. The side walls are 30 mil composite walls and the front, top and back wall is a 50 mil composite wall. This is all dovetailed together, has its own control channel through here, extra holding channel through here, with it's then bolted together and locked together. Great for our humid Australian conditions to keep out that heat and also when it's a cold time to stop it from getting cold inside. Amazing temperature controlled technology. Okay, coming into our spacious caravan. Starting up the front here, a caravan queen bed with lift up struts so we can have extra storage underneath with our two drawers. Over our bed we have a ranger hatch, another one at the rear of the caravan for the kids to have fresh air coming into the caravan. And speaking of fresh air, we have a Dometic air conditioner and on the top of that we have four separate 100 watt solar panels. So the reason we separate our solar panels, simple. If we find a nice place like here next to a creek and we want to be under a tree, two of those solar panels might be in the shade. 
but the other two solar panels will be in the sun, so they'll still work independent of each other, which is a great advantage to use our sun. Coming through, you'll see our kitchen. We have a sink, adjustable host, four burner cooktop, grill, and microwave. Now this is a 32 litre convection microwave which runs off the 200 amp hour inverter that is, comes with the caravan. Coming over the sit down, we have a cafe lounge with another feature where we can pull this out, put a cushion on it, we can use that as a footrest. And a tri-fold table which comes out to extend our seating area. Coming through the caravan, we have our 188 litre Dometic 12 volt compressor fridge. Great for freezing your fresh fish you've caught on the creek down the road there and keeping all those drinks nice and cool. Coming through to the family bunk area, three separate bunks. Each bunk has its own storage area for the child to put their bits and pieces and the family bits and pieces while you're traveling. As you see down here with our front loader wash machine, then we have a wash basin over here next to the light. Now you ask me why I have a wash basin here. There's a reason for that. We have two separate rooms here. One, the toilet. So if someone's in there and you want to wash your hands or brush your teeth, you're not sort of interacting with each other there. Then, if someone is having a shower, our own separate shower. So we have three different compartments within the ensuite. Shower, toilet, and vanity basin. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, allowing me to present to you the new On The Move Adventure 6.9 meter family caravan. Come and see us at one of our many branches at Caravan HQ or come in and say hello to us at one of the shows we attend.